what are we doing here? Holy crap, what are we doing here? So, well... Basically, you can tell by the... Oh, jeez. Wait till he... Wait, let me bring him down. Okay, so you, by the, you can tell by the atmosphere what you're supposed to do. Which is basically... Use the same weapon you did on the enemy who was in the similar looking... Oh, like, if you're, if you're in a certain boss's lair, you would use the item that worked on that boss. You know, like you use the boomerang on the boss that appeared in this particular area in the first temple, the forest temple. And you just go on pretty much do the same thing. And he'll... T oh, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Yeah. Let's try to hold still here. Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy, man. Yeah, right. Oh, man, I almost fell. Man, I'm not... Oh, my God. Yeah, you can use the item here, but I almost think that it's safer to just... wait it out, maybe? Or something? I don't know. I think it's funny how the platform's not raised, even though it wasn't the original. Oh shit, we better put on the, uh, Zora armor here. So you're gonna have, uh, several- wait, I can't see where the- okay. And yeah, what you're gonna wanna do here is kinda swim around and, uh, well, keep the iron boots on so you're not affected by the thing. Lock onto him and use the claw shot. Pull him out to you, let him have it. This part of the battle is really easy. It's when he turns into his. Uh, you'll see later. Can I jump underwater? Wow, I guess I can. Man, it's like I'm playing one of those slow motion 3D tank games of some sort. Whoa, there's a pit. I see you over there. Shut up. Oh, I didn't know I could get you from all the way back here. I bet you didn't know that either, bitch! Well, that's it. That's all you got? I wanted to hit the pots and get some hearts. But you wouldn't let me. So what's next? This guy. Alright, first things first. Take off the ridiculous Zora armor. Wait, it's dude! No... No! Gee willikers, man. Slap your ass! Slap your ass! Slap your ass! And do some ass slapping! Do some ass slapping! Slap ass! Slap ass! Slap ass! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna even just hit the pole twice and knock him off. Let me try that next time, instead of using the boomerang. Because I don't think you actually have to use the boomerang there. Once. Twice. Yeah, that's what I thought. But either way, the boomerang's still fun to use. Any chance you get to use it is awesome. He doesn't go through all the bosses. As you see, he skipped the one from the Arbiter's Ground. Since you can see, he's now using the lair from the... Lizetta, you just have to simply follow the same pattern you did with her. Use the ball and chain. Then he gets really small. Then he gets really hard to hit, so. So kind of just following around the ice and wait till you have a clean shot. Otherwise, you're. Oh crap, did I get him? I think I did. Yes, I did. So just wait till you're like uh, on a par to be ahead of him a little bit. And yeah, see, that's not too bad. Now, for the most part, we're doing pretty good so far. But I, I believe this is it. I believe this is the. Yeah, this is it. This is the part I'm worried about. <laughs> this is like some serious action right here. I mean, this is like no holds barred, man. 
best bet is to wait till he's about to attack and just kind of. Whoa. Oh. You know, when he spins around like that, I, I, I tend to stay out of the way. <laughs> I guess you could probably do a little spin attack of your own, maybe upset him, I don't know. And then he gets dizzy, and of course he gets a chance to get a few blows in there. So we bring him up here next to you, target him, hit him with the sword, do it again. Oops. Not that time. Wow, I kept him away. Knocked him up against the wall. <laughs> okay, whatever. Man, he's just <laughs> jumping from one foot to the other. He's crazy, man. Yeah, you pretty much shield away that stuff, too. Uh, this, ain't, this isn't as bad as I remember. I wonder what... Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Next time he does a spin thing, I want to try something. Okay, never mind. I guess we won't have to. Well, that wasn't as bad as I remember. I don't know. <laughs> well, I used to suck at that fight. Well, hell, I used to suck at Dark Nuts, so yeah. Oh, uh, huh. Well, that's it. He's dead. What now? Shit. Ay, ay, ay. You traitors! <laughs> Still on the throne, as usual. Traitors, huh? You want to know why none would call you king? It was your eyes, Zand. Oh, I saw it. A lust for power burning in your pupils. Did you think we'd forget our ancestors lost their king to such greed? You tell that asshole. Minna, foolish Twilight Princess, the curse on you cannot be broken. It was placed on you by the magic of my god. The power you held as leader of the Twilight will never return. Yeah, well maybe we'll just go kill your god then. Already he has descended and been reborn in this world. As long as my master Ganon survives, he will resurrect me without cease! Without cease, you say? Well, let's see him do it right now then. Holy mother of all that is Christ in this world. I use just a fraction of the power that's in me now. I did that using only a fraction of my ancestors' magic. Yeah, you did, Midna. Damn. If he's not, now is the time. We must save Zelda. <laughs> well, with you by my side, I don't think we'll have a problem. The evil power of Zan was building. I couldn't take it from him, but at least I still had the magic of my ancestors. With it, I could return the cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. Yeah! Wait a second, he didn't drop a piece of heart. Or oh, wait, did he? I need to check. I can't remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure he drops a heart container. Yes, he does. Okay, good. You got a heart container in something you can't see in Link's face! You can't for a second there, but not anymore! Okay. I'll get you out of here. You're sure there's nothing else you need to do. What else could I need to do? This place sucks anyway. Let's get out of here. I'm so glad this is done. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. I did not want to do this today. But... You know what? Eh. Yeah. All's well that ends well. Here we go. Save. So that's all I'm going to do for this particular recording session. By the time you get to this video, it's going to be like next... Ugh, it's going to be June. <laughs> I don't even know. So Ganondorf was just using sand to help him return to the world of light. I guess now we know the true nature of that very over Hyrule Castle. He's in Hyrule Castle, I'm sure of it. Princess Zelda is in grave danger. We must return to the world of light and hurry to the castle. Oh, yeah. But we all know that the best time to do side quests is when the world is in danger, right? Uh, well, guys, I hope you're okay. I'll see you all later. I'm heading back home now. So... I'm gonna head back up and out of the toilet. So, it's been fun. Man. So, I could go po hunting and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna save that for the next recording. Unless I can remember where they all are. I remember where some of them are. And 
I could go get them now while I'm on. I mean, as long as I'm here, I suppose I could, but I'd stop doing that. I'll tell you what, I'll get a couple of them. Oh, you know what? It's daytime. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. It's interesting that I would warp here of all places. Yeah, okay, so that's all for this video. That's all for this, uh, yeah, this video, whatever. So, uh, next time on Twilight Princess, we'll get the rest of the pose, and, uh, and then I guess we'll do the Cave of Ordeals, because we ain't got much left after this. I might go ahead and show the cutscene that leads to the final dungeon before that, but yeah, I might do that first, but, but yeah, pretty soon we'll be in the Cave of Ordeals, so yes. Okay, so see you guys later. Take care.